to know the three big mistakes I made when I first started journaling. If we've not met before, I'm Caroline and I share daily journaling prompts and inspiration. One of the reasons that I do this is because I know how easy it is to procrastinate and overthink things. Uh, so before we get on to today's actual writing idea, I thought I would share some of my fails when it comes to journaling. Um, yeah, so top of my mistakes was not organizing my day to consistently write at the same time. I think this has made a huge difference to me being able to kind of form a habit and I have some accountability um, as well because we, we write together. Uh, I like the morning, but for you, it could be a different time of day. Uh, you might want to look at it um, when you sit down for your coffee in the morning, or you might want to wait until the end of the day and use that as kind of reflective opportunity. Yeah, so try and try and build it into your routine. My next mistake was thinking that I needed to write in perfect English, in perfect sentences, and it all be perfect. And I was really focused on like making my handwriting perfect and making it look nice. And that's completely silly, completely pointless because who am I writing for? I'm writing for me, none of that matters. Um, yeah. So my last mistake, the third mistake, um, and this one took me a while to realize actually, is that in some respects, it actually doesn't matter what you write about. And I think the main thing is you have to let your thoughts flow. So however you interpret the writing prompt or whatever you're thinking or feeling just let it flow and don't like censor it or think that it needs to be like I say perfect English uh, and one one person one of, one of my friends actually she had suggested like not letting your pen leave the paper so just just keep keep writing keep writing whatever comes into your head because doing that is so beneficial and whatever needs to come out will come out so yeah, it doesn't actually matter too much what you write about. Well, <laughs> that was a, a whistle stop tour of some of the things that I have done wrong. Um, and I hope that that helps. I will still do a writing idea today. Uh, yeah, let me find my book. How do you typically take care of your physical health? Do you eat a balanced diet and get enough sleep and engage in regular exercise? Are there any areas of your physical health that you would like to improve? What steps can you take to make progress in these areas? The other thing that I need to tell you is that I am traveling for work this week. I have a very busy week. And what I normally do is I do these videos for you every day, kind of in the moment when I get up to go do my journaling. So I won't be able to come back on now until the weekend. I had thought about batching videos and pre-recording them and then I was like oh that's that's a lot and then I kind of missed this kind of in the in the moment opportunity um there are lots of videos on my profile if you go and have a look if you're looking for something to write about have a browse and maybe choose a topic from one of my other videos I will miss you very much but I'm also so excited so um, this week my job is to host the European Chatbot and Conversational AI Summit in Edinburgh. So there are lots of amazing speakers coming from all over the world for this event and it is my job to welcome them and yeah, I'm, I'm going to soak up all the knowledge and I'm going to meet amazing people and being in Edinburgh will also be beautiful, so I can't wait to, um, yeah, I can't wait for the experience. It's the first time that I've done something like this, so super excited. And I will see you when I get back. So yeah, I'll be back on Saturday and I hope you have a beautiful week. <laughs>